We've seen an increase in the number of vehicles impounded for various transgressions in recent months. This includes public transport vehicles where the driver or owner is not able to produce a valid operating permit. Ons het die afgelopen paar maanden een toename in die aantal geskitte voertuie vir verskye oortredings gesien. Dit sluit in voertuie wat vir openbare vervoer gebruik word en waar die bestuurder of die eienaar nie die nodige permitte kon wees nie. As gevolg hiervan is daar voordeerende tekort aan spasie by ons skitfaciliteite. Die onvermoe of weiering om skitfooie te betaal is meestal die gevolg van onpadwaardig voertuie wat die eienaar nie kom op eis nie. In sommige gevalle is die bestuurder gewoonte oortreders met die geschiedenis van boetes waarvan baie nie betaal is nie. Die vernietiging van voertuie is die laaste uitweg, maar dit help om spasie te skep by ons faciliteite. Ons sou verkies het om die voertuie aan organisaties te doneer, maar ongelukkig is die wetgeving baie beperkend in hierdie verband en is dit nie moendlik nie. As a result of pounds at Maitland and Nabeni are constantly faced with capacity challenges. The inability or refusal to pay impoundment fees often results in unroadworthy vehicles being abandoned. Also, in some instances, the owners or drivers are habitual offenders who have a history of fines, many of them unpaid. So the crushing is a last resort, but much needed to free up space in our pounds. And in the case of the uh, public transport vehicles, the Act does not permit us to auction those, so all those have to be crushed in terms of the national legislation. First price would have been the ability to donate or sell off the vehicles, but unfortunately there are significant limitations in law that prevent this.